Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Well, while the holidays are to celebrate, there's also one of the most, it's also one of the most dangerous days on roadways and Labor Day, no exception. In 2020, there were over 440 vehicle crashes that resulted in injuries or fatalities during Labor Day in Louisiana. According to the Highway Safety Commission, more than one in ten of the crashes involved a driver who had been drinking. News 10's Britt LaFosso spoke with the Generate family devastated by heartbreak after three of their youngest family members were killed by a drunk driver last December. The three siblings, all under 21 years old, were killed by the drunk driver in that crash. Their older brother now sending a powerful warning to others on this holiday. A real statistic that says, you know, every 45 minutes someone dies from an alcohol-related um, accident. And my three baby siblings were added to that statistic this past December when a drunk driver hit them and don't add to that statistic, you know. Shea Simmons lost his three younger siblings, 15-year-old Cameron, 17-year-old Christopher, and 20-year-old Lindy, when their vehicle was hit head-on by a pickup truck. State police say the driver of the truck was intoxicated three times over the legal limit and was driving on the wrong side of the interstate. Everyone constantly thinks, you know, yeah, you know, I might drive drunk a little bit here and there, but I'm not going to kill someone. It's like, you, know, you don't know that. You know, you really don't. You can't say that you're not going to do that whenever you're under the influence. Simmons says this is something no one expects will happen to them, but it's a very real possibility for anyone. You know, I see the younger generation, it's, it's uh, you know, a lot of people will brag about driving drunk or think it's a joke, and it's like, it's, it's all fun and games until, you know, you lose your family member or you take someone else's family member, you know, and it's like, just be aware of that, you know, don't throw your life away just by trying to drive drunk, you know, it's, it's just not worth it. He says the drunk driver that killed his siblings made one bad decision that was so easily preventable. You know, I think my three baby siblings that passed, they wanted to, you know, they left us with one, uh, one thing, and that's to share the message of what happened to them and um, to help avoid it for other people. Louisiana is participating in the national Drive Sober or Get Pulled Over campaign to eliminate drunk driving. This campaign will be in effect tonight. Brett LaFosso, Caleb Y News 10.